Popular Front of India strongly condemns the attempt of the Uttar Pradesh government to link Popular Front of India with the allegation that we are trying to incite communal and caste violence. So this is highly deplorable and it is an attempt by the Uttar Pradesh government to divert the attention. The arrest that happened in uh, UP today of four activists, it has come out that out of them two were the state and national leaders of a student organization called CFI. Along with that, there was one journalist Siddiq who was going with them to meet the family of the Hatras rape victims. So now the question is in UP under the Yogi government, is it a crime to even intend to meet the, uh, the victims of, of a, such a crime? Is it a crime to go and meet them? So point is clear that the UP government is trying to divert the attention of the country. The entire country is witnessing how the law and order has completely collapsed in UP, how uh, they are trying to bury this case. And now when people are protesting, not just in UP, in an entire India, now the UP government is coming up with all cooked up conspiracy theories and trying to link Popular Front of India. This is not the first time they've tried to link Popular Front, but even previously they have done and they, were, they have failed miserably in the court. So Popular Front of India strongly condemned uh, this attempt and again uh, the UP government says that uh, there is an attempt to defame Yogi uh, and the UP government so I would like to say there is nothing left to defame the entire world knows that there is no uh, no need to defame the government because they are they have been ashamed they have been ashamed all over the world so now I like to demand that the people or the activists who have been arrested should be uh, immediately released because the arrest is illegal and also justice should be done to the family of the victims. Thank you.